Hey guys, Nick here at Queen City Scooters. Um, I'm actually flying solo in the shop today, so I thought I'd make a sign, or it's a sign. Thought I'd make a video about a uh, repair we're doing. Um, a uh, we're doing a, a mechanical brake sensor uh, replacement for a, a Dualtron Three, and um, you can really take the instructions in this video and. Uh, and apply them, you know, uh, across uh, most vehicles. Because regardless of what you have to do to expose all the wires and trace them back to the connection within the uh, within the wire nest and the foot deck, um, the replacement on the brake lever is still going to be the same thing. All right, so. Uh, we're gonna be uh, doing this in a few different segment videos and then my ever faithful uh, video editor will paste it all together to make it you know one seamless video um, so um, you guys uh, just follow along closely I'll go over a few things right now um, before we move to our next segment typically with uh, most high-performance vehicles when you're doing a mechanical brake sensor all right, you're going to be starting from here. This is where the mechanical brake, brake sensor is housed. All right, and then what we had to do was actually remove the handlebars, and then uh, and then this one actually has LED lighting strips that run along the side. You can see them there. All right, so we removed the handlebars, slid that lighting strip up, and then we were able to trace the wires all the way down to uh, the wire nest down in the foot deck. So. What you'll have to do as well um, when, uh, when you receive your new uh, brake sensor is it's going to come without the connection, all right? So you're just going to have the two wires looking like this, all right? So they're not, they, they expect you to depin it and then uh, remove, the, uh, r remove the connector from the old brake sensor and uh and attach it to the new one and and that's what we did we we've got we've got you know uh deep pinning keys and we took the what excuse me took the wires out of the old uh brake sensor and, and put them onto here so um you know just uh that that's one of the things that you'll need along with your other sets of tools is make sure you have a deep pinning key set uh you can get them on amazon really cheap i think i think i paid like eight or nine dollars um for like four sets of deep end keys um and they've got i mean you, i mean the deep end sets have like i think like 30 or 40 different keys on them so uh okay so this is part two of replacing a mechanical brake sensor so in the first video I discussed with you guys about how to trace the wiring, how to disassemble your vehicle to be able to uh, get a uh, solid lead from the uh, mechanical brake sensor and the brake lever all the way down into the wiring nest where it's connected uh, into the uh, control unit. So the first thing that, uh, that you guys need to know is how to depin a connection which I'm going to cover for you right now. So this is a depending tool. And as I stated previously, you can get these really cheap on Amazon. But to depin a connector, you're going to take your depin key and you're going to slide it in. If you can see right there, you want to slide it on the side and sometimes it can be a little tricky to figure out which side actually has the flare pin for the connector uh, just yeah you're going to take your little key here and you can try it on both sides and you'll know when you get it you'll feel the tool slide down and when you do eventually get it you'll actually uh you'll feel the uh the wire pin actually slide down so it'll take you a few attempts to actually be able to, I mean, I, I do a dozen of these probably a week and I still have trouble with them. So there it goes. So I've, I've been able to press down that flare pin on the, on the wire and now it comes out. So you'll repeat 
on the opposing side. And don't get me wrong, this thing can be a beast sometimes and really try your patience. And what I found is sometimes at the factory, the flare pin will be on one side, on one wire, and then on the other side, on the other wire. They, they don't always get it right. So you just have to work through it. And you'll get it eventually. There it goes. All right, so now that's off. So this is the lead from our old mechanical brake sensor. Now this is a Dualtron 3, as I previously stated. So to be able to trace the wire all the way back up to this lever here, we have to remove this LED strip. So I've already loosened all the bolts and everything as you can see. So what I'm going to do is raise the hammer bars up. take a little precision screwdriver, set it in that hole, and then usually you can just pry it up. All right, so we're going to have to kind of just pop this thing out instead of sliding it up. That's obviously not going to work. So we'll just work our way down. Popping it out. Now at this point I can go ahead and set the handlebars back up on top. Since we're going to go about it. Turn it. See, we've got the actual LED strip behind the logo screen. We're going to slide that out and set it to the side there before it can't be damaged. Those are pretty fragile. Set our LED screen off to the side. A screen with LED filter. Alright, so the next thing you have to do most manufacturers will usually take these wires together when they're in enclosed areas so if the end of the tape isn't visible then you just always slice it with a knife just being careful not to not to slice your wires as well just work your way down with it unbound. I'm going to loosen the uh, the brake lever and actually rotate it around as soon as I can find my number five Allen wrench. So I'm gonna loosen this guy. Yeah. 
flip them around. Because your mechanical brake sensor is actually housed right here. So you always have two screws at opposing corners. It's, they're uh, usually use Phillips head. I'll take my precision screwdriver. All right, that one's undone. Sometimes you'll need to flip it over to the flathead to actually be able to pop the cover off. These things love to be tedious. So I'm clearly going to have to keep going back and forth. This side is a real pain. The other side, I was able to switch out the sensor really quick. And had I known, I would have used that side for the video. But hindsight's always 2020. Okay, so now I've got my cover off. Now the brake sensor slides out very easily. You just lift up on the cable end and pull it straight out. So that's your brake set. That's your old brake sensor. We're gonna completely remove that, and we'll take our new one, which is here. Undo the twist tie and go ahead and get it set in place. Now it doesn't matter, since these are square, it doesn't matter which end you put it down. So um, occasionally certain manufacturers might have an arrow on one side and you can usually leave that facing up if you've got your brake lever flipped around like this. So always want to run it in between the bar and your brake cable. Go ahead and, and, and to actually insert it, it makes it a lot easier if you depress the brake lever and then you can drop it into place. All right, so now that's replaced. Now you see it's kind of moving around. That's what the cover plate is for. It holds that sensor in place. All right, go ahead and drop that in. Screw it back down. Well, that one's clearly stripped. All right, so we've got the brake sensor replaced. Go ahead and swing this around. Put it back in place. All right, so now we're done up here as far as replacing the cables. Our wire around. And now I talked to you about how to deep pin the connector. All right, so now we're going to reinsert the new wires into the connector. All right, and what you want to do, now this is very important. Well, can be, can be. So. Since this is just obviously like, you know, um, you know, basically this sensor just, you know, closes a circuit. It, it's not imperative that you have the wires corresponding on the same side as the other connection or as, as you know, as the, uh, as the female connection. But I always like to just to maintain uh, uniformity. So I'm going to consult connector down here All right, so I know my red wire needs to go on the right side so I'm gonna go ahead and slide this guy into place Okay, and you well, once once you get it pushed in, give it a little tug.
to make sure that wire's in there. It actually went on the wrong side. That is fabulous. So don't make that mistake. Make sure that when you're threading the connection, it goes into the right side. Now, if you do have to depin the very uh, wire that you're trying to get into place, once you depin it, make sure to flare your uh, to reflare your pin on the wire lead. try this a second time all right now we got it on the right side now it's in place so now we'll go ahead and connect it to the opposing side check the work that we've done. And if we've done a good job, we'll be able to power the unit on. And pull our brake lever. If we've done our job right, the brake lights will light up. All right. Now, if your vehicle has an ABS feature, which is, the, which is our reason for replacing the sensors on this, we're actually not going to know whether the um, whether the um, ABS is working properly until we get this one up on the rack and uh, and do a, a manual test. We will continue this in video three. Okay, so the third and final part of after replacing uh, the mechanical brake sensors on the vehicle is to go ahead and wire, uh, run the wires back uh, uh, through uh, where they're concealed, put the vehicle back together, and then while you have it on a rack or, uh, or even just take it out, um, right in, and obviously make sure that your brake sensors are working. We've already uh, done this, and we found out that the third video for um, for this project had been lost. Uh, somehow I mistakenly deleted it or something. So, uh, making this post-haste. But uh, we've already got the dual assembled. We've now got it for sale outside of the shop, downtown Charlotte. Um, anyone watching this, uh, you know, just uh, keep in mind that you want to make sure that your ABS engages with both and with the rear brake. If the if the ABS after you've after you've replaced your brake sensors, if the ABS is only engaging on one brake sensor, then that actually uh, signifies that it might be an issue with your controller. Now this is rare, but it does happen. So. Um, you know, after double checking your connections and you're still having issues with ABS only engaging with one brake sensor, then you want to go uh, and uh, check your controller. Now, you can get a uh, motor, uh, or actually just a uh, controller tester, and it's, it's a bit, it's a bit of a project. You have to disconnect all the wires for the brake to throttle, um, and for the, uh, sorry, and for the motor and then you hook it up to the con uh, controller tester and when you, you turn it on and the instructions will tell you how to read the lighting on the controller tester, but it'll let you know um, if you do indeed have an issue with the controller. If you don't wanna go through all that and you have the extra change, you can just go ahead and replace the controller. The, the ABS is only gonna be affected by either the mechanical, the mechanical or uh, hall sensor or the controller, so. This concludes uh, replacing the mechanical brake sensors. And uh, you guys uh, keep checking in with our channel. Like and subscribe. Click the bell icon so that you're updated on our new, on our new videos on our channel. Check out our Instagram and our website. And we'll see you guys soon.